I remember when I was at Saturday Night Live, there was the stand-up crew, and then there was the crew that came from Second City. I was like, these Second City people are way more prepared for this than, than we are. So I so said, let me do a play. Let me get in this Broadway thing. Let me see what this process is. You know, the motherfucker with the hat is an offstage character who you get to learn about during the course of the play. The inciting incident for the play has to do with a hat that's discovered belonging to this motherfucker. And from that, you know, the play unfolds and whatever, havoc ensues. I got an email out of the blue. I didn't really, he didn't have my email, you know, he got it from somebody else and he said, I'm writing this play. I want to do a little reading of it. I just want to hear your voice in it. I need help developing all these characters and that's how it started. It connected with me on a very personal level for me, watching somebody go through what this character that I'm playing uh, goes through. He's just gotten out of prison. His girlfriend, who he's been with since the eighth grade, is still using heavily, and he's trying to stay on the program with the help of his sponsor, and he's desperately trying to hold on to his sobriety and hold on to his commitment to his girl. I am Jackie's girlfriend, longtime girlfriend. The, the tagline is two hearts, one hat, 12 steps. I'm one of those two hearts. But I'm do asking a lot of questions, hanging out with a lot of recovered Addicts. I think you gotta believe in your sponsor. That's the main thing. Some people like to lead by breaking them down. I think you gotta build them up. You gotta make them feel invincible. You have to show them alternatives. This is, a, it's like being a good father. Don't do that, but you can have fun doing this too. I'm married to Chris Rock, Ralph, and he's got 15 years recovery and I have like 18 years recovery. She's living in an angry place. She's not really working the program that well right now. The play ultimately is about people trying to, trying to do the right thing and step out of their own way and, and find love and get the love they want. And Cousin Julio is kind of the voice of reason. He keeps finding himself with these people who come to him for help and advice. He's figured it out, you know what I mean? People are like, here's what you got to do. I think that the play ex uh, examines uh, certain moral ambiguities uh, in our world and in our lifestyle and in our relationships, both romantic and non-romantic, nothing's absolute. And it's, it's malleable and we have to adjust our lives and sort of follow our truths, you know, that there is no sort of ultimate truth that we're going to find here. I mean, Stephen um, has a kind of, writes with a kind of urban poetry, and I think he really knows these people, and he has an enormous amount of compassion for them. Each character has a wish, each character is trying to figure out how to live a good life, and uh, that's a really fertile place to start if you're a theater director. We all want what these characters want. We want to be understood, we want to be loved. It, it's relatable, I think, to everybody. Hopefully, we'll all come away from it being like, wow, I'm the mother with that. I mean, I'm concerned with the play. Me hitting my marks, knowing my lines. You know, when it's time for me to pick up an apple, I gotta pick up an apple and, you know, and do my line. That's what I'm worried about.